What's going on YouTube? Q back here again with another video for you. Today's video is home. Literally just got home like two minutes ago. Just pulled it in, back to Dan. So I'm about to do my initial impressions. First job, 2021 BMW M2 competition. Excited, man. Let me take a look around here. I'm so excited, but I got work to do, so I got to come back out here later. I got to get all my stuff set up in the car. Looking good in the driveway. Let me adjust my camera. It's looking a little bit too white. Hurt your eyes looking at it. There we go. Now I got to revise my intro again. Just did it. Shorten it down to seven seconds. Now I got to do it again. Speaking of the intro, let's go and cue it on anyway. Coming in from the state of Indiana, from Muncie Toyota, go wheels, a couple of modifications to it. You're looking good, man. It's a little dirty now, came a little ways. Wheels still clean. But the gold BBS is like I'm paid in full. But yeah, got the temporary place. I never bought a car out of state before, so that's that's something new to me. In a couple weeks, I gotta go to the Secretary of State, or as most people call it, DMV, but it's SOS here in Michigan. That's what we're accustomed to. So I gotta get a Michigan tag. Probably gonna go back to custom plates, because I've been lacking, man. I haven't been inspired to come up with anything, but I got a plate that I wanna use on this one, so I'm just waiting for that to come in the mail. It's such a dreary day. Oh, what we got here? Bugs, ew, I'll do that. But yeah, man. You ready to ride so this is going to be the flagship of the channel for now the integra still here it's in the garage but this will be the meat and potatoes right here honey gang nate style speaking of honey gang nate he is one quarter of the men of culture so we also got blueprint one le race car france and myself so do us all a favor join and watch the channels but yeah man i don't even know what to do man actually i gotta finish working so i'll come back later don't even have on the coat and it's freezing and we're about to get a snowstorm so all right all right finally about to get this thing on the road finally dressed in some proper clothing and y'all know these cars ain't official till i put one of these in there so my daughters were super excited when they saw the car in the driveway because they helped me pick out the car so i i had a bunch of tabs open and this is the one that they actually chose they wanted this one the most but i sat on this car for a couple weeks probably three weeks at least but this is the exact car that they wanted to be in. Let me get the car seat in there. My daughter, she wants to come with me so bad. So I'm gonna take her along with this journey on this first drive of the M2 competition. But let me get that in there and let me get my stuff set up because I haven't played with anything, haven't paired my phone. I don't even know anything about this car. I don't even know how to use the, what do we got in here, iDrive. So let me get my camera mount and all that good stuff. We'll be right back. When your kids make it the booster seats, it's a game changer, man them being able to get in the car by themselves definitely changes the game uh oh those things are actually pretty practical for a two door so i'm about to test that out in this video as well so we only need one these days yeah. that's it don't match this interior. I bought these these purple seats to match the Hellcat. Oops. Yeah, I don't think I like the the fragrance up in here. Go get some of my smell good and change the smell. Like it smells doesn't smell bad, but it's I don't like the smell. I need to change that. So what we got here? This little diffuser had this thing for months. If you don't know something about me, I love to smell good. Me for myself and my cars. If you ever been around me, I'm wearing something exquisite as a fragrance i like smelling good and this right here is very fruity i tend to prefer fruity smelling things like for my my personal fragrances they're like fruit based my my latest addition to the collection was actually oud that's like a more mature smell but in the integra i got a fruity scent my my daily scent i don't want to be giving y'all my secrets but it's uh smells like a fireplace so where Mason Margellas, I got a couple of those. Jazz Club by the fireplace. Got a couple of Creeds. I got a I got a nice cologne collection. Fun fact about me. But smelling good. So with this diffuser, got some oil up in here. So what I want to do, shake that up. So and it goes up into this. Probably should have did this before. 
it goes up into this cork top here and I just gotta dab it up in there every now and again and it smells much better already because it smells it's a more mature scent in this car and I it's not bad but I, I don't want it to smell like that can I get the thumbs up thing? um that's not in this car you can go ahead and get in alright so I was in the car for the last 30 minutes trying to get everything set up this car is definitely different all right, come on, big girl. You get in the back. See if you can fit in here. All right, can you sit back? Yep. See if you can buckle up. If not, I got you. Oh, I got the switch on the seat to move it. I want to put a candy here. That's where focus on buckling up. Do you want to put a candy? Uh-oh, did I crush your feet? You good? Nope. You got room? Room? Let me see you wiggle your feet. All right, you okay? Yep. All right. Smell good already in here. Smells like candy. Someone put a candy and gum right here. Candy and gum? All right, pass that to me. We don't, what is this doing in here? Thank you. But I don't know where the seat belt is. Um, I think your seat is in the way. Let me move you over some. And someone put trash in here. There's trash back here. No, it's that if here. Oh, that was. Oh, it probably came out to your car seat. All right, here's the seatbelt buckle right there. Put it in. But who put a gum right there? Either you or Jay. Okay. All right, so I got a couple questions already. I got to ask about this. I've been playing around. Got my settings. I got my music set up. Got that plan. Couple questions though. I need for you BMW owners to tell me. What I need to know is how do I sync the temperature? Because only one side is going up and down. I want them both to go up and down at the same time. And it's normally a sync button. Don't know where that is. So I got to do both individually. And for this trip meter here, I like resetting my mileage so I can uh, record my gas mileage. I need to know how to reset this number. So I figured out how to change the top, but I don't know how to reset the bottom part. So if you could let me know that down there, that would be great. Another question I want to know, how do I fast forward the music while it's playing? So I got this I drive thing right here. I don't know how to fast forward, but this is connected to the USB. And on the steering wheel, I just got volume, but no skip buttons. I do have this button, and to skip the track, I gotta like move it up, and I can skip tracks, but I wanna know how to fast forward. Cause that's something I use very frequently. Mm -mm. You comfortable back there? I don't know. You don't know? Do you feel tight? Do you feel cramped? You need some more room? No, that's my seat. See what happens if you press the button. Anything happen? Okay, cool. Because so you don't need to move me up while I'm driving. Alright. You alright? Yeah. Alright, cool. So, let's take off. A little frigid out here today. So, got to take it easy. Especially with the kid in the car. It's 30 something degrees. And we get a snowstorm tomorrow. So, thankful for that. Yeah, it's going to be it's supposed to get a lot of snow tomorrow, so I can't drive this car. I like snow. You like snow? Even if it means daddy can't drive his car? Yeah. <laughs> what about me? We have three cars. Well, actually, we had eight because we still have five. So, we got three cars, and, and now we have eight. Yeah, how many cars have I had? Eight. Eight? Yeah. Probably in your lifetime, I have had about eight cars. Still can't find a way to get my seat comfy. Feel like it's a little bit too tall. I want to get lower. You need to get a pillow. A pillow? Yeah. I need to get lower. A pillow's gonna make me taller. Need my sunroof too. You can open the sunroof. I don't have a sunroof. I got a poverty spec. What's that? It means I got the broke person. <laughs> Open her up a little bit. 
this is not my intended route, but we are here to see what we can do. Got the auto rev match downshift on, unless you turn traction control off. I'll turn the traction control off today since it's so cold outside. I need that. But this thing pulls, man. <laughs> it revs so high, I don't even know what the red line is, like 7,600. So it's up there. Ah, don't you do it. Some brave people out here today just pulling out in front of us. Definitely got to drive for other people as well as yourself. You never know what they're going to do. All part of being the cautious driver. Subtle pops. I think I should get an exhaust on here. <laughs> Definitely going to get an exhaust on here. Sounds good. And that's how these inline sixes sound. But I want a little bit more. Some throaty stuff. So we got a state of emergency question. Hunter Gang Nate thinks he can beat me on the track in his ZLE. So he does have a really fast car. But does he have the skill? I don't know if he's ever been on the track, but I'm willing to bet the house on myself. Or is it bet the farm? My money's on me. And on basketball too. Me and the gang, they gotta link up for basketball. Once once the air clears out on this current situation, I wanna see that man on the court. You two race car friends. Blueprint one that league. Basketball, no deal. But on the track. I want to see that man on the track. Looper 1LE drives his 1LE on the track like it's not even his. He drives it like he stole it. And that's crazy to me. I'm going to have to disable the seatbelt thing. It keeps dinging whenever I put my camera in the seat. And this dude right here trying to walk across the street trying to lose his life. But yeah, every time I set my camera in the passenger seat, it dings as if there's a passenger there. So they definitely got a sensor as opposed to like a weight thing. This is what they told me. And this is my result. What they did, we need to get curb rats this time. Try it raw. It's a raw food place, so nothing's cooked. Everything's just raw food, like just as it comes from a tree or in the ground or whatnot. That's just how it is. Got a couple things, an exception to the rule, but they don't warm up anything. It's just all cold. So I did order two lasagnas and I ordered tacos. But the guy that was there waiting for his food, too, he wanted to try the lasagna. He never had it. I get this stuff every week. So I was like, I'll let you have one of my lasagnas. You give me your tacos just so you can have that experience. So it all worked out. So this right here is what they call a taco. Just a collard green leaf. And we got walnut for the, the protein in there. Got onions. Got some cashew cheese in there. Delicious stuff. And this is my lasagna, and this is cold. Got a little fresh salad on the side. This stuff is really good. It doesn't look that great, but oh my God, this is definitely good. It's got like some other kind of cashew cheese, lasagna noodles, and just everything raw and organic. So I'm gonna resume the drive later on. Don't wanna drive. I cannot drive like I want to with my daughter in the car. So I'm gonna go home, eat, drop her off, and get this in before it gets dark. And the lighting was terrible too. So we're gonna wait till we get more ideal settings and then we'll come back here later on tonight. So we got a praise report, partner straw. So I figured out how to reset the odometer for the trip meter. It's just a button on the dash. Still haven't figured out the sync thing and I got CarPlay on. So to reset the trip, this little hidden button, boom, in the corner, couldn't even see it. And then we got this guy, David Bowie on here. Shout out to Luther Vandross, he's a background singer too. One of my favorite R&B artists. Just picked up some stuff for Drew. Now let's hit the road before it gets dark. Got an ice storm tomorrow, not a snowstorm. So one of these cars is gonna have to sit outside the garage. Y'all know which car is not going outside the garage. My car is going in the garage, man. That's The Integra will be out the garage if it weren't for this ice storm. Cause I don't want the garage to, I don't want to lose power and my cars get stuck in the garage and this be the only car outside or the Integra be the only car outside. So gotta have the Blazer out so my wife can drive, but I think the Integra will be outside the garage on a normal basis. So we're really running out of light right here. So let's make this quick.
second to third. Uh, that didn't happen. <laughs> Tried to rush it. And it was like, nah, bruh. Oh, yeah, this, this sucks. It's dark and I'm still in like rush hour traffic. So I think I'm going to have to end it right here, man. More videos coming soon. About to enjoy driving this car. The Integra is still going to be on the channel too. Like, I haven't forgot about that car. It's easier to make videos when I have two cars, man. I promise. I'm going to end this video with that, man. It's like, I don't even know if I'm in the camera, man. I got a silhouette of myself. I'm about to just be out here cruising, getting to know the car a little better. I'm going to have to do that red line again because that thing, I don't know. That was probably, I don't know why I didn't make that shift, but. Let me get to know the car. Like when you get a new car, you always gotta get to know it. I'm out here like I've been driving this thing for years. Hopefully y'all can see me, man. Y'all can see me now, can y'all see me? For a brief moment. But yeah, man. Great things happening on this channel. I look forward to making more content with this and the integrity, so stay tuned. I'm not doing y'all any justice with like no sunlight, man. Got dark in rush hour, so wrapping that up. Don't forget to check out my channel. I'm Q, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.